everybody, so back in video 1886 we made this thing which is a rainwater generator for a downpipe. You put in your downpipe and then you'd maybe use like a bell siphon and then use your gutters as a water store, flush them down there and it would spin a turbine. Now we used this which is the water turbine and we used it really because it was a bit of fun more than anything. The water turbine is something that we've been using for air and we're showing that it would work in water as well. Now there's a curious thing but Little things moving quickly have the same energy as big things moving slowly. And you can see that in bullets and you can see that in water turbines as well. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense because a, a, a river, well, it starts as a stream high in the mountains and there's not a lot of water, but it's dropping a great height. So it's moving with quite a lot of pressure or quite a lot of force. By the time it gets down to the plane, of course, it's moving much more slowly because it's not falling very far. But there's a huge amount of water there. Uh, if we use those two properties, we can get the same energy out. That is, a little thing moving quickly, or a big thing moving slowly, will give us the same energy. We can't unfortunately use the same turbine to do it, because they have different properties. And in fact, there are two types of turbine, called the reaction turbine and the impulse turbine. This one, works better if there's a little bit of water flowing very quickly. So if we pointed a, a pressure jet at that, it would scream, but it's not the best type. The best type for a situation like that is something like this. This is called the Kaplan turbine. This works much better when you have a large amount of water flowing slowly, and this works much better when you have a little bit of water flowing quickly. And that's the way it is with turbines. Now, you can mimic that. You can put pressure on the water and force it through a jet, something like a Pelton wheel, and that will create that situation of little water at the time moving very quickly. We get ourselves a turbine. This kind you're seeing in things like vortex generators. And of course, water wheels are exactly that. They basically use the mass of the water to turn them. So we did that in the early video and we got a result. And the result wasn't brilliant, to be honest. It was okay, but it wasn't brilliant. And you'd expect that just from the nature of the uh, water that we were using in order to turn that. So when we put it in with the hairdryer, of course, it belted around because it would do. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our Kaplan blade on our generator and we're going to see what kind of difference there is. Awesome! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> so it got cold and wet in two days in a row. But it got the result I was mildly expecting. With this one, we got about half a volt. And with this one, we got about 0.9 of a volt. Now, we can use voltage to measure the speed of this turbine. Because remember, a generator generates based on length of wire, strength of magnetic field, angle that the magnetic field makes to the wire when it cuts it, and speed at which it do, does that. Those four things. Now, three of them are identical. We've got exactly the same generator section, so the angle, length of wire, and strength of magnetic field are all the same, so they can't change. So for voltage to go up, only one thing can be changing, and that's the speed. So if the speed of this is faster, voltage will go up. So we can use voltage as a measure of the speed of this. Now, there's only one reason that'll spin more quickly, is because it's getting more push. That is, the water that's going down there is more efficiently pushing this and pushing it faster. So we can say that because the voltage was 0.9 instead of 0.5, this one, in this situation, is able to change it better into push of the turbine. And of course, that's what we're looking for. Now, we'd expected that because we're using something with a mass of water. We've got a bucket and we're chucking it down there and it's not very high. So it's all to do with the mass of water. 
Well, this one, what we need is speed of water. So we can either go for mass or we can go for momentum, one or the other. Now, that's appropriate to your situation. If you live in somewhere where you have access to a low supply of water, but it has a high momentum, that's a better place to go for. If you're somewhere where you have an awful lot of water, but moving slowly, then that's the one to go for. Now, because you're not stuck with that, you can do things about it. You can change a mass of water into fast moving. After all, that's exactly what a Pelton wheel does. Incidentally, vortex turbines work with a mass of water at a low head, but because they're getting them in a vortex and spinning it, they're trying to get some momentum in there as well. So they're sort of half and half, if you like. But you can do stuff to get that. But in its essence, what matters is it's either mass or momentum. And you choose your turbine that's suitable for that. Now, I have seen a guy who's done dra uh, rainwater drains using a Pelton wheel. So because he's using a little bit of water, he tries to get pressure in there and change that into momentum. Three metres, five metres is not a great deal of height, which is where your gutters are, so you don't get a lot. What he did was um, he put a bell siphon, uh, siphon in his gutter to create a mass of water. What we're doing is using a turbine ship that's appropriate for mass of water with low head. If you want to use a turbine ship that is appropriate for a momentum of water with a high head, sorry, low head and mass, high head and momentum, you want something more like that, or more like a Pelton wheel, for example. Anyway, I thought I would go through that because... Um, that is how you go about choosing water wheels and it's like everything there is no one pill for all ills it's one of those things that suits you if you happen to be living in an area that has a huge mass of water with an enormous momentum then clearly you're in water tower turban valhalla and knock yourself out the rest of us have to do stuff because we don't have that amount anyway Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.